time, barbecues are happening, but summertime is also one of those times where a lot of families decide to move so they can get their kids into that new school for the upcoming school year. What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. We're Lance and Lauren and jumping right into it, today we're gonna to be covering the top 10 public high schools in the greater Sacramento area based off of an article by niche.com. Now this isn't our list. This is a list that was created by niche.com. Some of these schools make complete sense and some of these make you ask the question, what in the heck were they thinking? There are also a few surprises, so make sure you stick around until the very end to see which high school was ranked number one based off of niche.com. So starting the list with number 10 is gonna be Rockland High School. Rockland High School is located at 5301 Victory Lane in Rockland. Now this high school was the first high school built in Rockland and it has awesome ratings. This school is rated an A on niche.com and on greatschools.org it's rated a 9 out of 10 overall, a 9 out of 10 for test scores, and a 10 out of 10 for college readiness. Now Rockland High School is known for some of its extracurricular activities. Specifically, it's performing arts department. Rockland High School has a theater department that goes all the way up through theater four. Every single year, their theater class performs at the Lene Festival at Sacramento State University, and multiple years in a row, they've won many awards for their awesome theater team. Now, on top of their awesome theater program, they also have really great sports programs at this school as well. They have all of your standard sports. You've got football, you've got soccer, basketball, water polo, track and field, cross country, volleyball, you name it, they most likely have that sport there and they do really well in the Sac Joaquin area. So this high school is gonna be located more on the eastern side of Rockland if you're looking at Rockland on a map. There is gonna be one neighborhood, we just talked about it in our last video of five different neighborhoods that's gonna be assigned to Whitney, but a majority of the eastern side of Rockland is gonna be assigned to this neighborhood. Um, the homes that you're gonna find in some of these neighborhoods that are gonna be assigned to this high school, usually gonna be anywhere from three to six bedroom homes. You're gonna have some homes that are gonna be down into the 13, 14, 1500 square foot range and you're gonna find homes that are gonna go all the way up to the 4,000 plus square foot range and they're gonna range in prices anywhere from about $550,000 and they can go north of you know a million or two million dollars just depending on what you want and what you're looking for but when a lot of people relocate or move to this particular area usually Rockland High School is a main deciding factor for why they're choosing to live in this particular area in the greater Sacramento region so in regard to their academics they have a super low teacher to student ratio which I think is right about a 23 to 1 they have a lot of really good academic departments and their engineering department is actually nationally recognized so that's another cool feature of this particular high school now jumping into our number nine school based off of niche.com is going to be Franklin High School Franklin High School is going to be located out in Elk Grove at 6400 White Lock Parkway down in Elk Grove the school is going to have an A plus rating on niche.com so it's going to have a 9 out of 10 overall it's going to have a 9 out of 10 for test scores and it's going to have a 10 out of 10 for college readiness in regards to athletics it's going to have all your standard sports teams football basketball baseball uh, softball it's going to have all the boys and all the girls sports that you're you know typically used to as it relates to different high schools Academic Academically, they're gonna have a 22 to one student to teacher ratio. This school's gonna be known for their athletics. They're also gonna be known for their AP classes and industrial technology, engineering courses, as well as their advanced business classes. Now the homes out in Elk Grove are gonna provide you with a little bit lower of an entry point than in comparison to a, a city like Rockland. Elk Grove is gonna be a much larger community than Rockland. And then the nice thing with Elk Grove being located on the most Southern part of the greater Sacramento area is if you're a family that's moving up here from let's say the Bay Area, you can still have pretty quick access to get back down to the Bay Area if you need to, or if you still have family down there. The homes that you're gonna see in this area are gonna range anywhere from three to six bedroom homes. So pretty standard. You're gonna see a lot of track housing. You're gonna see a lot of kind of that suburban neighborhood feel. Um, you're gonna see homes that start in the 450s and they can go anywhere north of a million. And there's even some ranch properties that are in Elk Grove, depending on how far you go out, that can get up to the 10 million mark, but those are gonna be you know, more of your like equestrian properties. So for example, that property is gonna have you know 40 acres. It's gonna have like five barns, six ponds, all this crazy stuff. Now the number eight school on niche.com's list is gonna be Pleasant Grove High School, also located in Elk Grove at 9531 Bond Avenue. Now this school is rated an A plus on niche.com and on greatschools.org it's rated a 9 out of 10 overall, a 10 out of 10 for test scores, and a 10 out of 10 for college readiness. Now, Pleasant Grove High School also offers all of your standard sports programs like football, basketball, baseball, cheer, water polo, soccer, swimming, track and field. All of your normal sports are going to be offered at this high school as well. On top of AP programs, they also offer many advanced pathway programs as well. Some of these advanced pathway programs are FFA or Future Farmers of America, Biomedical Academy, a Digital Media Academy, and an Innovative Design and Engineering Academy. Now on top of these advanced pathways, they also have a stellar robotics team known as the Eagle Force Robotics. Now this robotics team has won 
many different awards across the nation and is well recognized for their program. So for the homes in this area of Elk Grove that are going to assign to this school, you're going to be a little bit further out to the eastern side of Elk Grove. It is going to be a little bit more of that ranch rural property feel. This is going to be more out towards the eastern side of Elk Grove, Grant Line, Bond, and kind of at that, that area of Wilt. So the homes out here are going to be slightly different. You're going to see, you know, bigger lot sizes. You're going to see a little bit more of those ranch, ranch style houses or those um, sprawling estate style homes. This school is going to be well known for all of its academics. Rockland, Franklin, and Pleasant Grove were a little bit of a surprise being that they were at the eight, nine, and the 10 spot. So you're thinking about moving or relocating to the greater Sacramento area and you're wanting to stay up to date with the most information, go ahead, hit that like and subscribe button. We're dropping new videos every week on what it's like to move or relocate to the greater Sacramento area. On top of making these videos, we are also licensed real estate agents in California and one of the top relocation teams in the greater Sacramento area, which means that as much as we love making these videos, we also love helping you more with all of your real estate needs. So there should be a phone number popping up. Go ahead, take a screenshot of that phone number or pause the video, write it down and make sure you plan your one-on-one -on -one consultation with us so we can help you make a game plan of moving to Sacramento that's right for you. Now coming in at number seven is gonna be Mira Loma. Now this one was a little bit of a surprise until we started to dig into some of the facts and figure out why this school was in the top 10 for public high schools in the greater Sacramento area. Now Mira Loma is gonna be located at 4000 Edison Avenue. It's gonna have an A plus rating on niche.com. It's gonna rate a six out of 10 for greatschools.org and eight out of 10 for test scores, but a 10 out of 10 for college readiness. Now this school is gonna have a little bit smaller of an athletic program. So where this school is located in the greater Sacramento area, it's gonna be down in the Arden area. So some of those homes are gonna be a little bit older. The population of this school is gonna be a little bit smaller. So so athletics aren't going to be their primary focus at this school, but where they really excel and be their academics. Mira Loma has a 23 to 1 student to teacher ratio. Now, one of the things that makes this school's academics department stand out is the fact that it was the first in the Sacramento area to offer the IB program. Now, the IB program is known as the International Baccalaureate Program, which offers an advanced degree for students. Now, it's not an easy degree to get. In order for students to have this type of a high school degree, they have to follow a rigorous program that's nationally recognized following those standards. So they have to take a certain number of AP classes every single year. They also have to take a certain number of elective courses that aren't your standard fun elective courses. They're Woodshop. More, <laughs> they're more, not Woodshop. They're more your classes that are more strategically focused in academics, like business courses, advanced marketing courses. They're more your types of classes that are gonna relate to different specific job fields that schools offer. Now, to receive an IB diploma, you have to plan this out starting your freshman year. So Mira Loma was the first high school in the Sacramento area to offer this program. They started it back in 1989, and since they started their IB program, they've had a 100% success rate of students that sign up to follow this plan, which is huge. Getting that degree is not an easy task, and a lot of other places that offer it, they'll see a certain percentage of students fall out because of how hard these advanced courses are. So it says a lot that Mira Loma has a 100% success rate with their IB program. So keep that in mind. Obviously, there's going to be several different resources that we can look at. When we first saw this score of a 6 out of 10 on grayschools.org, it was a little shocking. And then as we started to learn a little bit more about this high school, learn, learn a little bit more about, you know, some of the success rates, some of the, you know, college readiness, some of those other factors that play into the score. Um, obviously, the score doesn't reflect, you know, the teaching there. It doesn't reflect, you know, the accomplishment of the students there. So keep that in mind. The homes in this area are going to be in you know Sacramento proper it's going to be around that Arden area so a lot of these homes are going to be built in the 50s 60s and the 70s so you're going to see a much older home a much older uh, design and kind of floor plan that you would see typically that was built in the 60s 70s 80s in that greater Sacramento area so you're gonna have anything from you know two to four bedroom homes the master bedroom is going to be more of a primary bedroom it's going to probably have a bathroom but it's not going to have that you know bigger grand feel you know you're going to have you know maybe one two car garages so definitely a little bit older of a home um, you may be a little bit more particular if you're trying to have your kid go to this school um, you know as it relates to your house but you know definitely there's some beautiful homes in this area now the number six school is not your typical public high school but it was on this list so we want to make sure that we did mention it it's going to be western sierra collegiate academy now this is going to be a public charter high school they're going to be located in rockland it's going to be off of 660 menlo drive now where this high school is located it's going to be right off of highway 65 but pretty much it's going to be located in kind of a business park setting or a business area setting so it's going to have a very different high school feel. Um, they don't have really any football fields, baseball fields. I do believe they still have some sports programs where they share some of those sports programs at some of the neighboring schools like Whitney and Rockland and maybe even play some of their games at Jessup, uh, William Jessup uh, College. But for the most part, this is going to be a completely different field. Now for this high school, you do have to apply and get accepted. But if you are accepted, there is no cost for attending this school. So it is a California public charter high school and there's not going to be any tuition or any type of cost if you get in, but there is an application process. Now school is going to have an A plus rating on niche it's going to have a 10 out of 10 over 
overall on gradeschools.org. It's going to have a 9 out of 10 for test scores, and it's going to have a 10 out of 10 for college readiness. So all the all the publicly accoladed scores that you're going to find on niche.com or gradeschools.org are going to be super high. And it's also going to rank number 15 in the state of California for public charter schools. Now, like I said, even though that this is a smaller school and on location or on site, when you're looking at some of the B-roll and drone footage of this school, they don't have actual sports fields. They do have an athletics program. So they do offer your typical fall sports like cheer, cross country, football, boys soccer and girls volleyball. In the wintertime, they offer basketball. And in the summertime, they offer baseball, track and field, girls soccer. They offer a lot of the same or similar uh, sports programs, but it's just gonna be a little bit different of, a, of an experience. So, you know, the sports fields are not gonna be located directly on site, but the, th the good thing about Rockland is there's tons of sports parks. There's tons of neighboring high schools that they can also share those fields with. So this is gonna have one of the smallest student populations of under a thousand people right at 780 students and it's going to have a 21 to 1 student to teacher ratio now there aren't really going to be homes or any homes that are going to be assigned to this area because it is a public charter school that requires an application and acceptance but where it's located it's going to be right off of highway 65 and it's going to be kind of in a business park setting so it's not going to feel like your traditional high school that's surrounded by neighborhoods it's going to be more in like a business park setting now number five on the list is going to be vista del lago now vista del lago is located in folsom california now vista del lago is going to be located at 1970 broad Stone Parkway in Folsom. Now this is the second high school that was built in Folsom to accommodate the growing demand of the city and it opened back in 2007. Which doesn't sound like a long time but it's almost 20 years ago. <laughs> so this school is rated an A plus on niche.com. It's rated a 10 out of 10 overall on greatschools.org a 10 out of 10 for test scores, and a 10 out of 10 for college readiness. Vista Del Lago offers a great athletics program. They have a gorgeous newer pool that's a beautiful facility, so they offer stuff like swimming, water polo, they've got football, they've got soccer, basketball, cheer, cross country, you name it, they probably have the sport there. Now, Vista Del Lago has a 24 to one student to teacher ratio. They also offer many academic club programs that they're known for. They have a math club, a science Olympiad club, as well as a science bowl club. Now their Science Bowl club apparently is really well known in the area and performs at the Regional Science Bowl every single year where they usually win many awards. They also have an academic decathlon that they participate in where recently they've taken fifth place multiple years in a row. Now Vista del Lago was built in 2007 and this is gonna be more towards the Eastern side of Folsom, a little bit closer to Highway 50. So a lot of the homes in this area are gonna be a little bit newer. These are gonna be some of the bigger homes that are gonna be in Folsom as it relates to, you know, Broadstone, Empire Ranch, and they're even continuous growing onto the other side of 50. So now Vista Del Lago is also accommodating some of the newer growth that's going to be in Folsom Ranch and Russell Ranch until that new high school gets built. So right now that school is dealing with a little bit more of a, a student growth population, but homes in this area are going to be anywhere from three to six or seven bedroom homes. These homes are going to be massive. There's going to be some that kind of overlook the Palladio. There's going to be some that's going to be over by the Folsom Lake Junior College, but you're going to see homes in this area that are going to range anywhere from probably about 17, 18, 1900 square feet, all the way up to 4,000 plus square feet, depending on how much you want to spend spend and what type of house that you're looking for but definitely some gorgeous homes in this neighborhood definitely good academics programs in this school one of the reasons why a lot of people love and relocate or move to Folsom now the number four high school and this one was also a little bit of a surprise based off the of niche.com is going to be West Campus now this high school is going to be located on the south side of highway 50 it's going to be in the older part one of the older parts of Sacramento located off of 58th street and this is going to be another smaller high school that's only going to serve a right, right around 800 students now west campus is going to be a college preparatory campus this one was kind of a splinter off of the hiram johnson campus now this school is going to be serving more of the academically motivated students so while this is a public school there's also an application process so you do have to be accepted to go to this school now it's going to have an a plus rating on niche.com and it's going to have 10 out of 10s for overall testing scores and college readiness so one of the awesome academic things about this school even though it has a 26 to 1 student teacher ratio is a lot of the things that we found about this school is it has a high percentage of its students that actually move on to a four-year university had one of the highest percentages in the greater Sacramento area now even though this school is smaller it still has its athletic programs like your football and basketball and baseball but definitely their focus at this particular school is going to be the academic side of things homes in this neighborhood are going to be uh, a wide variety of homes that are going to range anywhere from your two to three bedroom homes single car garage um, built in the 40s 50s and 60s and you're going to have a couple of newer developments but primarily a lot of the homes are going to be much older so even though there are going to be homes homes that are going to be directly in this neighborhood of this school with it being an application process you don't necessarily have to live in this neighborhood if you're wanting your kid to go to west campus so before we jump into our top three if you're digging the information on this video go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button there should be a phone number popping up like we said go ahead and screenshot that phone number make sure you reach out to
talk to us, schedule your one-on-one -on -one consultation. So that way we can set up a game plan if you're thinking about moving or relocating to any one of these areas that we've talked about so far. Now jumping into our number three high school is gonna be Folsom High School. Folsom High School is gonna be located on Iron Point Road. Now this high school was built, I wanna say it was um, in the early 2000s, maybe 2000 or 2001 when this high school had moved from East Bidwell down to Iron Point Road. But this high school is definitely gonna be known for its academics and its athletic programs here. So this is gonna be one of the top schools in the greater Sacramento area as it relates to athletic programs, but we're gonna talk about some of the other school rankings. So it's gonna have an A plus for niche.com. It's gonna have a nine out of 10 for overall, a 10 out of 10 for test scores, and a 10 out of 10 for college readiness. Now, a lot of times people will particularly choose a school for their student based off of academics, but in this situation, people will send their students to this school for their athletic programs as well. Folsom High School is gonna be primarily known for having one of the best football programs in the greater Sacramento area. They've gone to the state championship game against some Southern California teams. They're always usually in contention or in the Northern California championship game as well, usually against the Bay Area team like De La Salle or somebody like that. But Folsom is going to have one of the top area programs as it relates to football. On top of having an awesome football program and that setting the standard for all their other sports programs, they're gonna have baseball, basketball, softball, track, cross country, they're gonna have swimming. So they're gonna have all of your standard sports. They don't have a water polo team here, but it's really gonna set the standard for uh, definitely some of that college recognition as it relates to moving on to a four-year school for maybe a sports scholarship. Folsom has a 25 to one student to teacher ratio and they have several different academic programs. They have an academic decathlon team competition that's also ranked first in Sacramento County for 2022 and 2023. So this school has both the academics and the athletics. So when you're talking about the two high schools in Folsom, Vista Del Lago being ranked at number five is probably gonna edge out Folsom High School a little bit more academically, and Folsom is probably gonna outrank uh, Vista Del Lago probably athletically. Now, both are really great schools. Both have really great athletic programs. So you may not even really care depending on uh, either one of those factors. And you may just choose to send your kid to whichever school that your home is assigned to. But right now, those are gonna be the two main high schools until the new Folsom Ranch High School opens um, in the future. So pretty much homes in this area are gonna be, you know, anything from, you know, there's some older parts of Folsom that are gonna have some of your, you know, two, one, three, one single car garage homes. But there's also gonna be some other uh, suburban neighborhoods or some other neighborhoods that are going to be surrounded that Folsom High School that are going to be your three to six bedroom homes that are going to range anywhere from about 1,700 square feet all the way up to about 3,500 square feet. Now, because of the schooling and because of the job market in Folsom, your entry point for both Vista Del Lago and the Folsom neighborhood is probably going to be towards the upper end of what you're going to experience in the greater Sacramento area, but that's where a lot of people still have such high demand for the Folsom area. Coming in at number two on niche.com's list is going to be Granite Bay High School. Now, Granite Bay High School is located in Granite Bay, California. California at one Grizzly Way. Granite Bay High School rates an A plus on niche.com, a 10 out of 10 overall on greatschools.org, a 10 out of 10 for test scores, and a 10 out of 10 for college readiness. This school has an awesome athletics department. They have an awesome football team that usually makes it to the playoffs each year. They have an awesome cross country team that recently has made it to the state meet the last two years. They also have your standard soccer, basketball, volleyball. They have a really great water polo team that's been undefeated in the league for the last 20 plus years. This school has a really great athletics department as you can see based on these teams. Now on top of athletics, Granite Bay also has an awesome academics program. They offer the IV diploma that we talked about a little bit earlier. In Roseville Joint Union High School District, which is where Granite Bay lands, they're one of the only two schools in the area that offer that diploma. Successful IV diploma graduates from this school are usually granted spots at some of the top universities across the nation. On top of their awesome IV diploma, they also offer many advanced placement courses, also known as AP courses, that students here like to take. Granite Bay High School has a 24 to one student to teacher ratio. And on top of some of these advanced placement courses, they also have an awesome business department where they offer many business classes as well as marketing classes. Now, since this is the only high school in Granite Bay, it's going to pretty much house all of Granite Bay residents, minus some stuff out by the lake. And it's even going to have some areas of East Roseville that are also going to be assigned to this high school. So the homes are going to range anywhere from your typical three to five bedroom track homes. You're going to have some ranch rural properties. Granite Bay is also going to be some of where we have some of our highest end properties in the greater Sacramento area. You have neighborhoods like Los Lagos, you have Wexford. Really for Granite Bay, you're going to have a little bit of everything. What it's going to come down to is going to be related to your needs, wants, and goals as it relates to your home and then the budget you have. So the entry point to Granite Bay is going to be a little bit higher with some of these homes starting at the uh, low 800s and they're going to go north of you know five or six million dollars just depending on what you're looking for where you want to be located at and how close you want to be to certain amenities as it relates to Granite Bay or even some of the amenities that Granite Bay shares with like Roseville. Now coming in at number one 
is going to be Davis High School. Now, Davis Senior High School is gonna be located about 15 minutes west of Sacramento across the causeway. It's actually gonna be located in Sacramento's number one suburb to live, which is gonna be Davis, California. Now, Davis is gonna have an A-plus rating on niche.com. It's gonna have an eight out of 10 overall for greatschools.org. It's gonna have a 10 out of 10 for test scores, and it's gonna have a 10 out of 10 for college readiness. Now, Davis Senior High School is gonna be a division one high school, so it's gonna have all of your athletic programs that we've talked about throughout the rest of this video, football, basketball, baseball, cross country, soccer, track, water polo. And this school is usually gonna be very competitive with a lot of the neighboring schools in Sacramento. Now the student to teacher ratio is gonna be 23 to one and Davis Senior High is gonna have 22 different AP courses that are gonna be offered to its students. This high school is gonna have a population of right around 1800 students and it just opened up its brand new $6 million robotics department that's gonna be located at the high school, which is pretty awesome. Now, same thing for Davis. All of Davis is gonna be assigned to this high school. So you're pretty much gonna have everything from your cute cottage bungalow houses to your ranch rural properties to some of your track neighborhoods. You're gonna have a little bit of mix or variety of everything that Davis has to offer. So you're gonna have a little bit of everything as it relates to what's available to you in Davis. Now the price point in Davis is going to start off much higher than the greater Sacramento area. The lowest entry point in Davis is going to be right around the higher eights and it's going to go north of a million and what you get for that is just going to be dependent on what your needs, wants, and your goals are. A lot of that price point in Davis is going to be reflective of the demand that also comes from UC Davis College being located there as well. So if you're thinking about moving or relocating to the greater Sacramento area or you're wanting more information on any of these neighborhoods that assign to any of these high schools that we talked about today, give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us that email. That phone number should be popping up make sure you take a screenshot we are one of the top relocation teams in the greater sacramento area we would love to hop on a one-on-one -on -one call with you and discuss your game plan about moving or relocating to the greater sacramento area.